Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the refrigerator washer or tub to pump hose. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new tub to pump hose. The tub to pump hose is located in the bottom of the washer and it goes between the tub and the drain pump. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it has a hole in it and you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to get to the part, we have to take the top of the washer off. We're going to go around back and use our Phillips screwdriver to take the screws out. Once you have the screws out, we can lift the top off. First we have to pull it back about a half an inch or so, so the front lip comes out from underneath the control panel. Once you have it released, you can lift it off and set it aside. Now that we have the top off, we can take the detergent drawer out. All you have to do is pull it out till it stops, and then on the back left corner there's a little release tab you have to press down on, and you can pull it out the rest of the way. Once you have it out, you can set it aside. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take the screws out. There's three screws. There's two long ones that hold the dispenser to the console, and then a shorter one that holds the console to the washer. Now that we have the three screws out on the front of the console, we can remove the two on the back. There's one on each side. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Now that we have all the screws out, we can release the locking tabs. There's three of them. They go across the back of the console. All you have to do is lift up on them to release them, and then carefully pull it on the frame as you release them so they don't snap back in. Once you have the last tab released, you have to shake it a little bit. There's two pins right here that you have to make sure come out of those holes. Once you have it released, you can set the control panel on the top of the washer. You can open up the door. And we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold the door lock to the front panel. In order to get the clamp off, there's a spring located down at 6 o'clock. We're going to have to lift this up and carefully get underneath it with a small flathead screwdriver. We can lift up on it and go clockwise around the clamp to pull it out of the groove. Once you have it off, you can pull it out of the washer. Now that we have the clamp off, we can pull the seal off the front panel. We're just going to grab it and carefully pull it away from the front panel all the way around the front opening. Once you have it off, you can kind of tuck it behind the panel and then we can use our Phillips screwdriver to remove all the screws that hold the front panel on. First we're going to take off the screws at the bottom. Now we can go ahead and take off the screws at the top. Once you have the second screw out, we have to go back over to this side and release the clip for the door switch wiring harness. To release the wire harness, all you have to do is pull out on the panel a little bit, and then we can take our needle nose and compress the clip and push it through the panel. Once you have it out, we can go take out the last screw. As you're taking the last screw out, you want to make sure you support the panel with your hip. And once you have the last screw out, you can use the door to help lift it off. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. Now that we have the front panel off, we have access to the tub to pump hose. We're going to throw a towel down on the inside to catch any water that may come out. Once you have that down, we're going to grab our Phillips screwdriver and loosen up this clamp so we can pull it off the tub. Once you have it loosened up, we can pull the hose off the tub. Once you have it off, we can take the clamp off and set it aside. Now 
Next, we're gonna disconnect the top to pump hose from the pump. We're gonna use up pliers to reach in and compress this clamp. All you have to do is compress it and then we can pull it off the pump. Once you have it off, you can set the clamp aside and then we can take off the clamp that holds on the air pressure hose. We're just gonna reach in and compress the clamp. Once you have it compressed, you can pull it off the fitting. Once you have the hose off the fitting, we can take the clamp off and set it aside. And then we can pull the tub to pump hose and the towel out of the washer. Here's the old tub to pump hose next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. We do have to remove the filter from the old one and put it into the new one. So we're just gonna push it up from the bottom out through the top opening. You have to flex it around the filter in order to get it out. Once you have it out, you may want to clean it up before you put it in the new one. Once you have the filter cleaned up, we can put it into the new tub to pump hose. All you have to do is set it down in there, and then same as when we took it out, we're going to have to stretch the hose over it as we're pushing it down. You want to make sure that you have it the third opening down, so you're going to have one, two, and then the filter. Once you have it in place, we can put the tub to pump hose into the washer. Before we put the tub to pump hose in, we're going to put this clamp up on the air pressure hose fitting to make it easier to put the hose on. We're just gonna compress it and then put it up on the fitting. We're gonna put this clamp up above this ridge right here. So when we put the hose on, we can lower it back down and get a good seal. Now that we have the compression clamp onto the fitting, we can put the screw clamp on. It goes on the large opening on the top and once you get it on, you want to make sure that the screw portion is over here on this side. So when we put it on there, we can reach in and tighten it down. And also we got the inside of all these fittings and the fittings on the tub wet to make it easier to put the hose on. All you have to do is slide the tub to pump hose up the fitting on the tub. And you want to make sure that you line this arrow up with the arrow on the tub. Once you have it lined up and in place, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten down the clamp. Once you have it tightened down, we can put on the pressure hose fitting and move the clamp down. To put the hose on, all you have to do is line it up with the fitting and you wanna make sure that the little notch lines up with the tab on the fitting. Once you have the hose all the way up and the notch and the tab are lined up, we can grab the pliers and compress the clamp to move it down. Once you have the clamp in place, we can attach the tub to pump hose to the pump. To put the hose on to the pump, we're going to first slip the clamp on and then push the hose on. Once you have the hose started, we're going to grab our pliers and compress the clamp and move it down onto the hose while we push it all the way up against the pump housing. Once you have it in place, you can let go of the clamp and then we can put the washer back together. To put the front panel on, we're just gonna line it up and set it onto the little tabs and hold it up. And once you have everything lined up and in place, you can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Now we can put the lower screws on. To put the door switch assembly in, we're just going to move the door seal out of the way. Reach in and grab the assembly and line it up. 
once you're holding it in place, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put one of the screws in. Once you have one screw in, you can let go of it, and then we can put the other screw in and tighten it down. Now that we have the door switch mounted, we can put the door seal and the clamp back on the front panel. To put the door seal on, we're just going to pull it out from behind the front panel. And then we want to make sure that the lip on the seal goes in the groove on the front panel all the way around so we can put the clamp in to hold it in place. Once you have it on all the way around, we can put the clamp on. To put the clamp back on, you want to make sure that the spring is down at 6 o'clock, just like when we took it off. And then you're going to work it around clockwise until you get to around 3 o'clock where it's not going to move anymore. And then we're going to grab the clamp with the locking pliers. And we're going to stretch the spring out, but you want to make sure you pull straight towards the side of the machine. If you pull towards the front, you're just going to pull it off. So just stretch it out a little bit so it's in the groove. And then you can release the locking pliers. Once you have it in place, we can close the washer door. Before we put the control panel on, we're going to reach in and lock the wiring harness into the front panel. All you have to do is line it up with the hole and snap it into place. Once you have it in, we can put the control panel on. To put the control panel on, all you have to do is rotate it down and snap it into place. You want to make sure that the two pins line up with the openings in the front panel. Once you have those in there, we can snap it into place. Once you have it back in, we can put the screws in to hold in place. Now that we have all the screws in, we can put the detergent drawer back in. To put the drawer in, all you have to do is line it up on the rails and push it all the way back in. Once you have it in, we can put the top on. To put the washer top back on, you want to set it back about an inch or so from the console and then set it down. Then you can push it forward so the front end locks into the console. Once you have it in place, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in to hold it in. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.